Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, happy National Workplace Wellbeing Day. I wanted to put together um, this little video to give you some help, advice, tips, should you need it, on implementing relaxation and mindfulness into the workplace or into your working life. Um, it's so important, whatever job you do, um, to manage your stress levels, it's important to look after your own stress levels and your own mental health within your working environment. It's also important to look out for your colleagues um, and your employees. Um, the benefits are huge. Reducing stress levels increases productivity um, and general feeling of well-being and happiness, um, a nicer atmosphere to work in. When our stress levels are lower, our immune system is working at its optimal level, so there's less sick days. People, obviously, stress itself is an illness um, and can cause people to not come to work at all or certainly to be less productive. So when we look after our stress levels and we look after our emotional well-being, then we're increasing productivity and we're lowering um, the chance that people are going to be feeling unhappy or feeling unwell um, and reducing the, the chances of having any unrest in the workplace as well. Um, so, in the current climate as well, I think it's more important um, to keep an eye on how we're feeling because there are so many different added pressures. If you're a key worker and you're still going out to work, then you've got the added um, element of making sure that you're adhering to social distancing that you're protecting yourselves and your families at home. Uh, you might be worried about your family members at home, whether you're bringing anything back to them. Um, it's an added pressure making sure that anybody that's coming into your environment is adhering to social distancing. These are all factors that we are having to, um, you know, to deal with on top of our normal workload. If you're working from home, you know, there are the added pressures there, motivation, keeping yourself motivated, um, clocking off, when you're supposed to clock off and not extending your work day. Um, if you've got children at home or partners um, at home, you know, that's all an extra element that we need to take uh, into consideration, really. We can't expect ourselves just to carry on as normal, work our normal shift patterns and get the normal workload done. Um, while you've got children running around, while you're responsible for homeschooling them, responsible for their well-being, while you've got your partner, your spouse at home, um, you know, you've also got to be mindful of them. If you're trying to work together, that's like putting a new spin on your relationship for most people. Um, so just do, go, go easy on yourselves. Um, because right now things are different. We do all have extra elements to take into consideration. Um, so do be mindful of that. So the first little tip that I wanted to mention to you is um, in relation to communication. So when you're being mindful and you're communicating with somebody, the, the idea is, or the goal is to be objective and to listen actively as well. So when you're speaking to somebody, focus on that person, on that conversation um, and on what is being communicated to you at that point in time. And when you're speaking back to somebody, make sure that the way that you're reacting is objective. So when we think about mindfulness, we want to observe the way that we're feeling. We don't want to brush that under the carpet at all. But if there's a, an, an element that's causing you stress or that's that you don't want to act on it, um, from an emotional point of view. So what we want to do is try and take a minute to process what's being said, what's being communicated to us and think about the way that we're gonna react because if we react too quickly, that's when tensions can rise and arguments can ensue. So the best way to do that is to take a breath, give yourself a minute to think about what's being said and think about the way that you want to react to that person. Now, it's not always easy if somebody wants a quick answer from you. Maybe you've got deadlines looming. Um, I do, you know, I do appreciate that. Um, but in the long run, it's much less likely to cause any conflict 
and any stress if you're able to react in a way um, that's calm um, and that's thought thought through um, rather than reacting on impulse, reacting on emotion, reacting with your heart. Um, if it's not possible, if the, the um, situation is too stressful to get yourself an objective point of view, um, then ask for that time. Um, perhaps if you're an employer, maybe make it clear to your employees that it's okay sometimes to take a break and come back with a response rather than expecting that response to be um, instant all the time. And I think sometimes it might actually command more respect if you do ask for that time, you know, maybe say, actually, I'm not quite sure at the moment how um, to respond to this situation, how to answer this question. But if you give me five minutes, I'll go away, I'll have a think about it, I'll process what you're saying to me and I'll come back with an answer. I think the answer that you give will be of more value um, and I think the person that you're speaking to will respect the fact that you've, you know, you've, you've been open, you've been honest, you've communicated the fact that you need time to process um, what's being asked of you. And that you're actually going to give it your full time and attention rather than giving a half-baked answer. Um, I do think that's a good um, a good habit to get into. Okay. And the less conflict we have, you know, that speaks for itself. Obviously, if you can avoid any um, unnecessary conflict, any, any tensions, um, any arguments in the workplace, then we're reducing stress tenfold. Okay, so the next thing then is something that I've spoken about before um, in these videos and it's move your body to change your mind. So if you're feeling stressed, if you're struggling with a task or you can't quite, maybe your creativity has dried up a little bit, move your body. If you can possibly get away from your desk, if you can get out of the room, brilliant. If you can get outside, fantastic. Just change the things that you can see, change the things that your body is doing and give yourself a minute. Go for a little walk around the office, around, you know, around the car park, around the house, move, do some star jumps, do some stretching, um, anything at all, just move your body um, and that will help to refocus your mind and give you a fresh perspective um so that's that's a key thing I, you know that's so underestimated just move your body take yourself out of the situation and come back again when you've adjusted yourself and i would try to implement that and most of these things that i'm going to mention whenever you have a break um if you're boiling the kettle these are things that you can do then while you're waiting for your tea break um, at lunchtime, try and get out for a little walk, even if it is only a couple of minutes. Um, just move. Um, it's it's really important. Um, and, you know, between tasks um, as well, it's a good way to, I like to think of it as like cleansing your palate in, in a big, if for a big meal. I don't like to sit and do bang, 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 knock off the to-do list. I like to do one task then have a break, even if it is only 60 seconds, um, walk around the table, anything. Just break off, make a clean break, and then start the next task. Um, take Move your mind as well. Take some time to get away from work within work. So that might be having a chat with a colleague about something that is not work-related. Um, it might be stepping outside and calling home. It might be playing with your kids for a couple of minutes if they're at home, if you're working from home. Just something different. Um, again, I'm not talking about um, taking an hour and playing a board game. Just a couple of minutes. Reconnect with your family, your friends. Reconnect with yourself. Take yourself out of your work life out of your work self away from your workload and then come back to it afresh um, so that can be a really good thing to do um, the next tip that I've got for you is to stretch your body um, particularly 
if you are sat down at a desk um, but even if you're not um, just use your body move your body in a way that you're not moving during your working life during your normal day to day again this is something that you can do when you take a bathroom break or when you're waiting for the kettle to boil um, at, at any point but I would try and do it a few times if you can just something really simple um, you could let your body hang down in your chair, just hang loose and then stretch up high as tall as you can. Um, maybe come, you know, from one side to the other and up and move in time with your breathing. Really make it a mindful, purposeful process. Stretch out your body, bend your back. Um, yeah, <laughs> Stretch up tall while you're boiling the kettle. And reach from side to side if you can do that bend down touch your toes just stretch out stretch those muscles move those muscles use your body and that's a great way to relieve tension as well um, and to improve your posture when you come to sit to sit back down um one of my favorite things to do if you sat at the computer um, for a long time or you're focusing maybe you're doing a lot of reading um if your your eyes can feel really strained um, and that has a massive impact you know we can struggle to focus then it makes us feel tired um, and it can give us headaches tension headaches and at that in itself it, you know when you know you've still got stuff to do and your eyes are feeling the pressure then that can add stress to us so practice this with me now take your hands together rub your palms together and generate a little bit of heat rub them really really quickly Close your eyes and place your palms over your hands. And just breathe and let them stay there for five seconds. Remove your hands, keep your eyes closed if possible and repeat. Move your hands together nice and quickly to generate some lovely heat. And then place them back over your eyes. Five seconds, close your eyes behind your hands. Five seconds, allow yourself to rest and repeat one more time. Rub together, get them nice and warm. And pop them back over your eyes and count to five. Some nice deep breaths. and release and hopefully I mean you can do more than three um, if you've got the time but again that's it's a really good way of resting the muscles around your eyes um, and of, of being able to give yourself that that reset um, and relieving the tension from your eye area um, to keep them healthy as well but also just to reset your mind that you know the quiet the darkness it's it's a good habit to be getting into and you can do that anywhere again while you're waiting for the kettle to boil um at your desk while you're even on the phone if you're on hold um implement it wherever you can breathing um fantastic um untold benefits we can regulate our heartbeat by controlling our breathing um, we can reduce our stress levels almost instantaneously um, and getting into the habit of regular um, deep breathing and breathing exercises will only make that easier, um, make it easier to, to lower those stress levels um, quicker. So the first um, little exercise that I'm going to show you today is alternate nostril breathing. So take your thumb and your forefinger, pop them over your nose, don't, don't pop them in yet. And we're going to go from right to left. So pop your thumb, close your nostril with your thumb and take in a breath through your nose. And then swap over. So close the other nostril and we're going to exhale through the nostril that was closed as we inhaled. We're going to repeat. So close one nostril and breathe in. And open the other nostril and breathe out. Okay. 
And you can repeat that as many times as you like, I would say a minimum of five. Um, again, that's a fantastic, simple exercise to focus your mind. Um, and it can be a good way to boost creativity if you're feeling that you are needing a bit of a boost, if things, if you're struggling to get the thoughts flowing. Um, again, another thing that you can do at any time. Um, next breath then. Number breathing, brilliant way to focus your mind, take yourself out of a situation, really focus on, on you know, internalising, um, just focus on your breathing, brilliant mindful exercise. So we're going to breathe in, and as we breathe in through our nose, we're going to count to four, and as we breathe out through your nose or through your mouth, um, we're going to count to seven. We do this because... Um, the counting focuses our mind and also helps us focus on the breathing, but we know that the restorative element of our breath is our exhalation. So if we can elongate that, then the benefits um, are enhanced. So the, the calming in our mind and the soothing in our chest happens when we exhale. That is when our body gets the chance to reset. So the longer we can make our out breath, the better um, restorative process we're going to experience. So we're going to breathe in through our nose for four. And we're going to breathe out for seven. In for four. out for seven, in for four, and out for seven, okay well done and again you can repeat that for as long as you like, as long as you feel you need to, as long as you've got available to you. Two or three breaths is wonderful. If you can do more, then fantastic. Um, but it's all about giving yourself that time and giving yourself that chance for your mind and your body to reset and to rest. And then coming back with a fresh perspective um, and with increased energy as well. Um, affirmations. Um, this is a brilliant, 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 brilliant thing um, to get yourself into the habit of doing. Um, do it daily, do it when you're brushing your teeth, do it when you catch a reflection in the mirror, passing a window, anything. Tell yourself some nice things to boost your self-esteem, to boost the belief that you have in yourself. Um, and the more confident you are, the more confident other people will be in you as well. Um, so we can do that um, on a, you know, on a personal level. You can tell yourself, I am brilliant, I am kind, I am bright, I am enough, I am okay. Whatever you need to tell yourself today, tell yourself it. Tell yourself some nice things, pay yourself some compliments. But equally, if you're struggling with a particular task or perhaps you're feeling stressed, and you need to bring that down, then telling yourself, I am calm, I am calm, I am calm, is absolutely wonderful, and I promise you will feel better if you try it. Um, it works in two ways, you know, you're, you are telling yourself that, and you're changing the way you're thinking, and you're reprogramming your mind, you are telling yourself you are calm, and you will become calmer, but also, the rhythmic um, repetition of repeating the affirmations has um, a meditative impact on our mind and on our body as well. So it serves to reduce our heart rate um, and regulate our breathing and give our mind a focus while we're repeating those words to ourselves. Now you can say that out loud or you can say it in your own head. Um, so that again, that's a brilliant um, tool to have to be, a, you can do it at your desk. Then again, you can do it while you're on hold. You can do it when you go for your bathroom breaks. You can do it while you're boiling the kettle. Okay, um, practice, um, get into the habit of doing it. Um, and let me know how you get on. Now, the final thing I wanted to mention today is um, meditation. And you might think, Sarah, I can't meditate while I'm at work. 
well you can actually but also um you can do it after work as well to help you decompress help you leave work at work and come home particularly beneficial at the moment while we are perhaps experiencing higher levels of stress of stress out at work but also if we're not going out to work if we're working from home then we need a way to leave work and come home without the physical journey so practicing something like a body scan uh, meditation which i'll take you through in a moment is a brilliant way to decompress to give yourself um, a few minutes to really really shut your mind down and move on to a different headspace um, and a different version of yourself if you like put your different hat on um, you know move from being doctor nurse banker farmer teacher to being mum dad brother husband whatever whatever your role at home is um, just bring yourself home and body scans as well are a great way you can do it on your own in the car um, you don't need me telling you what to do the key elements of, of a body scan is that we're quiet in the mind and we're focusing our attention on different areas of the body and we're paying attention to anywhere where there's pain or tension or that needs a little bit of extra relaxation so um, I will invite you now to go through um, a little body scan with me now. Um, you can come back and revisit this at a later stage in the day if it's not appropriate now. But you will see that it is um, so good for relieving stress and focusing your attention. Um, and it can boost your immune system, regulate your heartbeat and just take you into a different energy space. So pop on some relaxing music if you want to. Um, close your eyes, get comfortable and relax. So take some nice deep breaths first of all. Close your eyes, put your thoughts out of your head. Just forget about what you've been doing and what you're going to do next. And just for the next couple of minutes, focus on where you are right at this point in time. Focus on your breathing. Breathe all the way in and all the way out again. All the way in and all the way out. Become aware of your heartbeat. Pop your hands on your chest and just pay attention to the rhythm and the speed of your heartbeat at the moment. And we're going to focus first of all on our head. Bring your attention to your head and notice anything that you can feel there. Can you feel your hair touching your face? Do you notice any sensations in your skin? Do you feel any tension in your head? And with this next breath, just focus on releasing that tension. Breathe it all away. And now bring your attention down to your left shoulder. And notice anything that you're feeling on your left side. Move your attention down your left arm. Focus on your upper arm. Your elbow. Your forearm. Your wrist. The palm of your left hand. And the back of your hand your thumb, your forefinger, your middle finger, third finger and your little finger on your left side. Now bring your attention to your left hip. 
your left thigh, your knee, your calf and your shin, your ankle, the heel of your foot, the sole of your foot, the top of your left foot, your big toe, your second toe, your third toe, fourth toe and your little toe on your left side. Now with this next deep breath we're going to swap our attention to our right side of the body. And notice your right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and the little toe on your right side, the top of your foot, the sole of your foot, your heel, your ankle, moving up now to your calf, your shin, your knee, your thigh and your right hip. Take a deep breath, notice any tension that you're holding in your hips and as you breathe out release that tension. Move now to your right hand, your right thumb, forefinger, middle finger, third finger and your little finger on your right hand side, the back of your hand, the palm of your hand and your wrist, your right forearm, your right elbow, your upper arm, your shoulder, Come back now to your chest, breathe and release any tension that remains in your chest or your shoulders and come back and focus on the energy in your head. Take a breath and let go of any tension that remains there. Stay still, focus on your breathing for as long as you need to. Pop your hand back on your chest and check in with your heartbeat, notice any differences and pay attention to how you're feeling right at this moment in time. Hopefully you're all feeling nice and relaxed. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and that you find them useful. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, bye.